welcome to the um, Six Belgian Beer Seminar. It's a full house, so please don't. Um, we might have add some extra people in, so if we run out of cups and beer, please share. There should be enough for everybody. There's an entire country. You just need to visit it. <laughs> so, um, also, uh, hi to our uh, Captain Defox. For the first time, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that party master was working. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Uh, so first, some some house rules. I am open for questions, but don't shout them. There are people going around with microphones because this is 2019 and the internet, and the internet cannot hear you when you are shouting. There's Scoop. He has a microphone. Uh, I will, if you have comments, uh, raise your hand, not your voice, and Scoop will hand you the microphone for your question. Uh, in the meantime, uh, also thank you to my uh, lovely network Belgian slash uh, semi Dutch guys, who will help you distribute the beer. You mocht ten eerste beginnen rondtellen, want er zijn er genoeg. We have secret code. <laughs> Wacht, nu was ik zwiet voor de kind, maar ik had geen wet dat toch wel passeren. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Frankie from the Royal Belgian Beer Squadron and other groups. I sell cables for your uh, um, old stuff and consoles at a website. And I manage uh, IT projects uh, in my daily life. And if you are doing untapped, you can add me. If you have added me, please tell me so I know that Johan von Schnitzel is you. <laughs> also, while you'll be drinking Belgian beers, uh, cheers to Bonefish for the lovely Croatian stuff he brought me. <laughs> Something goes beep? No? Okay. And I always started with this disclaimer from a uh, lovely uh, net poet, is that um, some of these beers might not have been created in a fully hygiene controlled environment. <laughs> if you... <laughs> so if, so if, so, so if everybody, if someone wants to leave and let people on the waiting list in, please do so now. So uh, we've, we've done um, a couple of um, teams in the, in, in the last years. We have done uh, beers for uh, beginners, uh, IT professionals, system architects. We have done the uh, Trappist thing. We have done the Brussels conundrum. Um, and um, who, who recognized the entrance music? <laughs> you did, yes. So we are today going to talk about geography, which is the same title as one of the best Belgian albums ever for Front 242 by the same name, Geography, from 1982, which why is probably why it sounded so shitty. <laughs> As Bitch has said shit many times here behind his desk today, I, I have, at least have to, have to like get, get the, the name, number of fucking shits in as he did. <laughs> so what we are going to do is this. We are in for a seven hour seminar. We start at the coast, St. Isbald. <laughs> we, we go to the regions of Bruges. We drive all the way to Antwerp. We're stuck there for a few hours with traffic. <laughs> Head down to Westerlo, go down here to Arschot, or as we call it here, Arschot, um, Dist and Tien, and the marginal triangle. If you want uh, tuned Mark 1 goals, that's your place to go. We get down to Brussels, spend another few hours in, in traffic, go down to the Charleroi region, uh, go to Liège or Lüttich for you Germans, and end up near Dinant. Also, um, because you're now all um, doing the beers, I've took some stats earlier on here at Revision. <laughs> Big Brother is watching you. Uh, so we, we see that, that the, the, the fourth most popular beer is called T-shirt. <laughs> How is the first beer going? 
Good. You are allowed to drink when you get it, you know, because the first row is like, oh, you can drink now yet? I don't know. I'm waiting for the next thing. So drink, motherfuckers. Come on. Uh. Well, uh, uh, also, um, Mog, you, you have a typo in your name. It says Mug. So, um, the, the first beer that you guys now all got, um, meanwhile, the tweede mag komen. All right. It's uh, St. Ines Balt, which is brewed at Brouwerij Huigen in Melle, which does not mean a fucking thing. <laughs> and it is named for an abbey of the Onze Lieve Vrouw Ter Dijnen near uh, Kokseide, which is um, uh, like um, the Holy Mary of the Dunes. If you have seen in previous seminars, okay, so. I want to do some, some, some like um, hand count. Who's, whose first beer seminar is this, by the way? Are you in for a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was going to be about, about beer. No, it isn't. Um, who has done, who has done uh, like three, three or four of them? Where are like the ancient ones? Welcome back. <laughs> I didn't see Scamp. Is he dead? Yeah. yeah. I am, I am like so hard missing my favorite tall troll scam. Please come down. So, I always run through the absolutely pointless information of the abbeys. It was found in the 1200. It was burned a few times. It was plundered, plundered a few times. The French raided it in the revolution. And the last monk died in 1833. So, one of today's topic is dead abbeys. Uh, where's the abbey? It's over there. It's not the building in the, in the lower left corner. Why? Well, because this is the rest of it. <laughs> so, this is, this is all just plain marketing where they put a label of an old monastery on the beer and sell it because nobody owns the rights. You know, in, in like 500 years, some Belgian brewer, after we've conquered Germany, uh, will be making the Ewerk beer and sell it to them demo seniors because, you know, that's where it all happened. So, this was in Kokseide. And um, Kokseide is a place near, near the coast, and it has nothing to do with silks, silk and nothing to do with cocks. Oh. Sorry. Oh. And it's a, so, so who has been to the Belgian coast? Okay. What, the rest who has not been there, what do you think it looks like? Cocks. So, so, so like some, somebody that will not reply cocks, Please raise your hand and have a guess so Scoop can give you the microphone. Nobody wants to guess what the Belgian coast looks like. Do not give truck the microphone. <laughs> Please tell me it doesn't look like the coast of England. Um, I don't know. Uh, reality, what does the British coast look like? Except for Rocky. Because yes, that's exactly that's, it. That's what I know from Budley Salterton. It's a bunch of rocks. And really expensive Airbnbs. Basically. Basically that, okay. No, so the, the Belgian coast looks like this. <laughs> it is one continuous line of apartment buildings as high as possible so everybody can have a look at the sea. <laughs> but if you are there, you can hop on a tram. It is the longest tram line in the world used by 20 million passengers per, per year, and those cans are really, really packed and slow. But on the line are a lot of cool things to do. For the Germans, we have an Atlantique Well Museum. Uh, we have um, the Hahn, which is in French, coq sur mer. Uh, we have a Napoleonic Fort, and we have 
the Reflex Arcade in Austin, which right now has a lineup of seven pinball machines. What, what? Next time you get your ass over to Belgium, we can go, yes. <laughs> so, okay, so second, second beer, all done? Yes. So, comments? Good one? You've had Vivian Blond. With hops from Poppen, eh? Uh, and, and it has some uh, alcohol in it. Um, to my assistants, the third can uh, run. All right, begin to move it. Okay, so is it beeping me or, or is it you, Jurgen? Uh, it's something, okay. So the third one is the Viven Master IPA, which is made with some hops and has alcohol in it. And it, of course, comes from a brewery. It is located in Sessele, which is a village near Damme, which is close to Bruges. And they have making these style of beers since, well, 2003. Adding um, also some ales and porters because they wanted to do something else than the default boring double, triples and quads. <laughs> Until now, any questions? No questions? I'm disappointed. So, so about Damme, it's the old port of uh, Bruges, and because the, the sea closed up, they had to go to the sea, so they made a town called Zeebruges, that is now the harbor of Bruges. And Bruges itself is listed as UNESCO. But what other Belgium Damme product do we have? But <laughs> so, but then Jean Claude Van Damme is not called Van Damme. He's called Van Varenberg. It's his stage name. <laughs> Doch. <laughs> And, and, and then where, where, where can you have seen him, like, you know, we were all into computers and stuff. You can have seen him in Mortal Kombat, because they wanted him to play Johnny Cage originally. And then as like a, you know, what, makeup sex, they gave him the role of Guile in Street Fighter 2, the movie. That happened. That happened. That happened. And if you ask, how can you look so jacked on all your arm muscles? It's because by, by, by snorting 10k worth of cocaine a week. <laughs> I'll, I'll let that sink in a while while Oki is shouting outside. Now, if you really want to watch uh, Street Fighter 2, the movie, you have to look it for uh, Raul Julia. <laughs> because he was dying of cancer when he made the movie. He, was, he, was, he, he did his, his, uh, his like, non-action scenes first, went, went into therapy, came back for all his stunts, and basically did the movie before, for his 15-year-old like, kid. Because they, the, the, he, he told them, they asked me to play bison in the movie about street fighting, and the kid said, do it, daddy. I did it for the kids. Like a few weeks after the filming, he died. So, uh, where are we with the beer go around? And the vierde can come? Okay, do ma. Wat ik aan hem is deze van wat is het? Wat een blonde? Van Eveling. Een blonde? Okay. Um, these two must be very rap after one give, trouwens. Okay. Right. So. I can, I can hear the atmosphere in the hall rise, so I know I'm losing you. So. Lie to me. Lie to me. 
If you want to shout, please use a microphone. There's a question, Scoop will come over to you with the microphone. It's easier for the internet. Uh, on, on your map, are we yes. before Brussels or after Brussels? Uh, we are now going to Westerlo, which is near the Dutch border. All right. So we are now in the, going to be in more or less the uh, top right corner, about one hour away from Eindhoven, one hour away from Aachen. A quiz for F so, um who in, who in here knows that Aachen, as a city, has a French name? Who knows it? You don't count, and I've told you before. <laughs> so, if you drive around in Belgium and you want to drive to Aachen, you, you can't. Because you have to look for the sign to go to Aix-en-Chapelle. Which is written with an X and like two lines to make a long word very long. Because hardcore Belgian Frenchies. After this one, you're going to get the Eoling, which is also at a very small 8.5% alcohol. If you're, for those of you playing along at home. And both these beers are basically made for a single store. The Prick and Tick Dranken Specialist. Ja, die in die in de bruine mag ook komen. Die heeft leren flater bruin. They have in in the region of Westerlo they have about um, 25 stores. This is about one one quarter. <laughs> Scoop, we have a question. Yeah, hi. Um, hi. This is a fantastic program, but I do have a question. So, uh, to try and like break the foam, I use my finger, yes. right? Uh, and uh, it tastes like iron. Why? My yes. finger is dirty. Oh. No, 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 no. If so it, we uh, have three if reference it, if points. It, if it if it tastes like iron, if it tastes like iron. Um, you must have a deficiency somewhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, first, okay. So, for, so, 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 first seminar, yes, it's a new beer. We're keeping the pace here, people, come on. Yes, you know, this is educational. So you are now in Westerlo. This is the, um, hello, over here, hi, hello, children. Cheers, Bonefish. Um, this is the town hall of Westerlo. I know it very well because I live there, not in the building, but near it. Because Defox, if you think this, this has a, like a high heating bill, try that one. So, what else is there in Westerlo except absolutely nothing? They have something called the Tongerlo Abbey. And they market some beers in their name made by the guys from Hart. Hart is where we will be going next, but not for Tongerlo, by the way. Inside, if you ever want to do like touristing in Belgium, because this is an educational program, they have this painting. This painting is on the wall in the uh, uh, Tongelo Abbey. Who made this? Leonardo da Vinci. No. Leonardo da Vinci did not make it. This is a painting by Andrea Solari, which was one of his students. It is a copy of the one in the 16th chapel. And uh, when they x-rayed it, they're not all copies, so very likely Leonardo da Vinci came over and finished it. See? History that you learn at revision. Come on. Oh. 
If this was about the Commodore 64 chip history, you'd be applauding. <laughs> You're a bunch of heathens. <laughs> okay. Is the the volgende klaar? Eeuwling. En welke was deze als een aanwijzend voornaamwoord? Voilà. No. No. Wat? No. Next one. I'll give it. I'll give the the guys a chance to uh, catch up. Kevin, can you follow you? Dus uh, dat is nu de super 8. Dat, dat is een export, hè? All right. So, um, Kevin. Kevin, achter van deze waar de volgende direct doorkomen. So, you will now get another combo. This is like. Basically a lager, so you can drink it, you know, nice and easily. We don't need to have you digest things. So after the export, you will get the Super Act Saison. And Saison is French for season, because it's a spring beer made in winter so that people can walk, work on the farm. And in the Super 8 series, they have a few more beers. Okay, do we have our first victim? The person with the bunny ears. Person with the bunny ears, are you dying? <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, bonefish. Okay, scoop, scoop. Can you please give the microphone to bonefish? I want to know why he's giggling so much. Okay, people. Hey, hello. Like everybody, get it together. Breathe in, breathe out. And bonefish wants to say something. I I can't hear you. The bunny, I can't hear you. I think your microphone is off. Okay, Scoop, say something to test. Test one. Test. Yes, there we go. So, Welcome. I was laughing because not the bunny beer, uh, but bunny ears, but bunny beers. Yes. <laughs> So, continuing in the Super 8 range, they have a Blanche, a white beer, they have an IPA, they also have something called a Flandrien. Flandrien. Who's into cycling? Who rides a bike? Who's into cycling? All right. A Flandrien is a guy on a on a bicycle who always attacks and by preference sometimes wins. Because in a, in a road race, a Flandrien must lose in order to be found cuddly. We shall give you some examples of Flandriens. Brit Schotten, Eddie Merckx and Erik van der Aarde. Proper 
Belgian boys who rode around on a bicycle in black and white. Tour de Flanderen kommt gleich. Also. I, I actually dispute that because... Okay, sorry, merch... sorry, sorry. Who has, who has a microphone? Okay. I, I dispute that because Eddie Merckx won everything he rode in, so he wasn't just a tongue-tied one, he always won. Yeah, but in the end he started losing. <laughs> and then when we moved to color, we had Tom Bonen, Johan Musseer and Frank van den Broeke. And as you see, a Flandrien, he must ride in the dirt on cobblestones. And by preference, surrounded by Flemish lion flags. <laughs> because, you know, a Flandrien is by default of Flemish descent. MC? That's a saison. Okay, that is ginger. So, Moldy can think that saisons taste, taste like ginger. A bit? Trucky grease. So, for those into cycling, which, of the, which are the only two cycling races which matter? You guys in the front here were telling it. Hello, you, question. There are only two cycling races which matter for Belgians. Which one are they? You've said it before, five minutes ago. Now you're quiet, lovely. <laughs> Is it the uh, Tour of Flanders? Okay, so, okay, so you've said Tour of Flanders, that's one out of two, which is, which is the second one. Uh, whatever. What's the second one? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say the Tour de France, but I know that's probably wrong. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, to say, uh, not quite, because that's not even in, in Belgium. Is it Paris Tours? No, it's Paris Roubaix. Okay. Fair enough. You have. Two bicycle races which, which matter to Belgians. The Tour of Flanders and Paris-Roubaix. The rest doesn't count because we're, we're no longer winning them. Like, Eddie Merckx won the Tour de France five times, now somebody else does. We, 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 we don't care. Same with the Giro, same with the Vuelta, same with the uh, World Championship, we don't care. To give you an example, these were the last winners. Philippe Gilbert won Paris-Roubaix. He, he's, he's a Belgian Flemish hero for generations to come because he won. The Tour of Flanders was won by a random Italian that we don't care about. Alberto Bettiol, we're sorry, but you're not a Flandrien. And to come back to Hart, they are a family-owned brewery, but they make like a lot of different beers. We're going to try them all in the next seminar. Specifically because the first three ones are really chemical fake fruit beers. And then Tongerlo is from the Abbey, which is of course cool because, you know, there's a painting there. So, um, Kevin and Co, can we can we them brainen? Ça va. Okay, scoop. There's there's a question from a sober person. What year is this? Because it's geography, it's 1982. 
So, hello. Uh, short question: Is there going to be a test at the end? So the the question is. Hang is there on. going to be a quiz? Children, children, children. Hello, hello. The question is, is there going to be a test at the end? If you really want to, yes. For the people playing along at home who can't see the first row, those two are dying. Those are in the chatty period. And they have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Checks out. So, next one you are receiving is a brown beer called Abbe Dolne, which is a beer in a bottle with a monk on the label. And after this one, you also get the blonde one, which, trust me, is not 2.5%, that's a typo. The Abbey is near the village of Tuin. This is south of Brussels, for the record. Again, the Abbey was founded, it got raided, it got restarted, the last monks died, and somebody picked up the name for marketing reasons. This is from the website. It's like, it is. It was canonized by this guy from there in, in, in this year, and it was promoted in that year, and blah de blah And in the next telegraph, they say, well, yeah, but, you know, in 1850, it was dead. If you want to see the completely lovely Abbey in all its glory, it needs a bit of new paint. Alright, we will wait for the Amiga guys to sober up. Ah. Oh, um, oh, okay, so uh, OCS or AGA? OCS! Okay, what do you think of the vampire accelerators? Oh, See, mixed audience, I knew it. <laughs> Absolute. Does he in Blonde? Is that, uh, Kevin, does he in uh, Blonde? Yeah. So, the village... <laughs> so, the village of Troyes is located near Charleroi. And Troyes is... What, and the Abbey was killed so many times because it was basically on the battleground of the bishops of Liège, where we'll go later. Are there any people here who like to fly budget airlines like Ryanair? Who flies Ryanair? No. All right. Because Charleroi is known for one thing, Brussels South Airport. You have a question about the Air Force? Yes. Uh, no, I, no, I didn't. I, you did not? Okay, well, too late now. <laughs> now, what he also had... 
just 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 one bit. Yes, uh, sure. Last year you were talking about Brussels beer. Yes. And uh, you were talking about airlines that are forbidden to fly. Yes. Really? Uh, is it still, yes. still a thing? Yes. Just tell the story. No. So, some some may know, some may not know. We want the story, yes. Okay, Please. so it's more or less, it's not with this airport, so no. Come, come see me later. Because we will talk about industrial things. Because at Charleroi you had the Atelier Construction Electrique de Charleroi. Which was basically the Belgian Acme, a company that makes everything. They make trams, they make trains, they make radios. And this is, is a folder of a complete range of nuclear instrumentation from reactor control. So they made trains and nuclear reactors. Yes. Scoop, he has said enough. Hi, so I'm gonna be the voice of everyone here and I believe no one is following what you're saying. I believe everything you're saying is super interesting. And, I, and I'm not being like sarcastic or facetious, but I'm so fucking drunk. <laughs> and I thank you personally for it right. because it's all thanks to you. And okay. this is fantastic. I, no, but thank you. This is all thanks to you. You're amazing. This seminar is amazing. But I'm not learning shit. Right. So, after this, um, Next one, next one, and I'm really happy he's here. I've put this one in for Defox. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, and it said, sometimes I just pick beers based on names of people. I'm now looking for a beer called Response. So we have a matching pair. Just to, and just to make the most stupid joke of the evening. No. <laughs> hey, there's more. He hang on. Scoop, somebody wants to insult me. It's in the front row with the Commodore hat. It's very simple. Fuck you, Frankie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So, this is made by Brasserie C from Liège. They started with beer, they have a shop, they do other stuff as well. Scoop, we have a question in the back. <laughs> does, it, does it contain any traces of ribbons? Does it contain any traces of? Ribbons. Ribbons. Yes. Only, only red ones. Only ribbons. Uh, Kevin, is the smash rond? Volgende mag komen en rest rest er gewoon achter ze dan toch dood aan gaan. So, it's from a city from Liège, which was founded and did an industrial thing. 
and not to forget for the cycling people there's also a cycling race in Liège it's Liège Bastogne Liège and you do trips through the Ardennes And except for cycling, <laughs> it's, it's just like Belgian people go all round in circles and end up just where they fucking started. Yep. And what, uh, what they also have in Liège, they have lots of steel factories, so they also make these things. And now, we're, we're almost there. There's like two more to go. I want to end. <laughs> horrible. I, what the fuck? What's your name? I need to know. Where's the beer fairy? Who's the So, Why? <laughs> this one <laughs> is Taracol Saxo. <laughs> dude, hey, dude, don't stop, stop shouting at my crew, please, okay? It's not nice. <laughs> it's coming up. So, You'll have uh, this. The next one is a 7.5 low alcohol level, and the one after that, which will be the last one, hopefully, is a low 10%. Just to make sure you all sleep well tonight. It's coming from Brasserie Caracol. And Caracol is French for a snail because the guys work at a slow pace. Now, the brewery is located in the village of Falmignol which is really close to the village of Leffe. And the brewery is located in a nice, small, old building. They have a bar where you can go in and, and get their beer and some cheese. And when you come into the brewery, this is, this is what you see. There's this, this old clarification tub, and there's a big pizza oven. They're like, whatever, they're making pizza. And then you go on the brewery tour, and you find out that's, no, that's where they make their beer. They actually boil the beer on wood. And the filtration of the beer is done in the filtration vat, which they rotate by hand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rotating at about six, 60 rotations an hour. And this is their bottling plant, including the blue jug to clean the bottles. And that's their bottling machine, it's called Champol. Father? How was that, Elam?
So these guys, when they bottle the beer, they put the bottles on the machine one by one, and they take it out of the machine one by one into the beer crates. They label them more or less by hand one by one, extremely slowly. So now for general question, how many fingers am I holding up? I, I, um, a tiger would also have been correct. So, you have now done 12, 12, uh, 12 samplings in more or less 45 minutes, which relates to more or less four duvels. <laughs> you will leave here very happy. Are there any questions that you like? When, when can you go home Monday? Okay, no, if you have a question, please use the microphone. I have a question, Frankie. Yes, the SD Fox. Why didn't you force me to come here years before? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bitch. <laughs> okay, so, question, yes? Hi, um, first of all, thank you. I've had 15 of these beers. For which I'm very thankful. And the only question is, when do we actually start drinking? Well, um, there's a British beer seminar coming up, and I would also tell you to go there. Question in the back, scoop. Frankie, thanks for this amazing beer seminar. It was my first time. And uh, why didn't you force the Fox to take part earlier? <laughs> Any more questions that you that you now, because of the alcohol, like allow yourself to ask me? No question, just concerns. Yeah, me too. Hey. Yes. Hi, Frankie. Quick question: What was the blonde before the brasserie say? Which was the blonde? Before the brasserie say one. The brasserie the, C. The blonde before the brasserie C was, um, well, what's on the playlist? Vlieren Flater. No, um, Abbe Dolma blonde was before Smash and then Abby and then Vlieren Flater before that. Yeah. So, no, sorry, I won. Next question. Uh, this is more a question of default. Why the hell didn't you turn up earlier? <laughs> Okay, so guys, yeah, um, I, I just have a comment that uh, I what? think this is a seminar that I will want to remember. I can't hear you, whoever is talking. <laughs> this is a seminar I will want to remember, but I'm not sure if I will. Okay, um, um, this also, is, hang this on, is hang his on. first revision okay, guys, seminar guys, ever. The guy in the third row, please wake him up. Next to the window, please. <laughs> One more question. All right. Guys, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. If you want the zoo, got we